Hey guys, welcome to MinTac. This is Chris. I am so glad to have you with me today. Today I am doing a review on a micro red dot put out by OTW. So stay tuned. I'm going to go over the specifics. And also we're going to do a range test, get this thing sighted in. It's going to be on my 762 by 39 another gun that I will be taking to uh, three guns. So stay tuned. So what do we have here? This is, like I said, this is the OTW Micro Red Dot from OTW. It's a 1X 4MOA Red Dot. We're going to do some unpackaging here. This is much like your Bushnell uh, TRS-25 in resemblance. And let's just see if we get the package. Nice padded box. So it's pretty safely packaged. Get your bikini lens protectors. I never use them. Let me get your Allen wrench for adjustment. Get a little silicon. And you're going to get a little polishing cloth. So that's what you get in the package. Alright, so this uh, red dot is mounted. It is mounted on a UTG 1 inch riser. Uh, the things that I'm very impressed with so far is the clarity of the dot. Uh, it is a red and green dot with intensities from 1 to 5 for each setting. And I'm impressed with uh, how bright it is. And I was going to try to capture uh, the intensity of it, but because of the camera and the angles and how bright it is out here today, I wasn't actually able to uh, get a good... Uh, sight picture of what that looks like downrange, but uh, very impressed with that. It is a crisp 4 MOA light, um, so it does. Uh, it is pretty bright and a uh, pretty small dot at that. Um, I'm also impressed with um, uh, just the makeup, the quality as far as uh, durability. If you could go to, and I'm going to try to link this in, uh, in the description below, but uh, 704 Tactical did a a beat down test on this thing and just really beat the snot out of it and uh, kept kept coming back for more. Um, for example, he took off his upper, he had this thing mounted to a U UTG uh, riser and he would beat it on a car hood and so it withstood uh, the beating of that car hood and his water bottle test and at 75 yards he was still hitting steel with it. So. I was pretty impressed with that. Some of the things I'm not impressed with uh, so far, and what can you expect from a bud budget red dot? I mean, this is $29.99 from Amazon, and uh, I'd rather have the quality done within the emitter itself and the glass. And, uh, you know, the paint doesn't matter to me. This thing's going to get uh, roughed up, and uh, so it's not going to matter too much to me. You can see some machining marks in the base bezel of it. And the paint is not uh, is not all that durable. So let me see if I can get in um, on here, and you can see some. Uh, basically, I have not had this out except for mounting it, and so there's some paint issues there. And I know in the front front of the gun as well, underneath, can't really get it all too well, but underneath there has some wear already, but. Hey, if this was a fashion show, um, it would be a problem, but this is a red dot, micro red dot, and a budget one at that. So I expect this thing to be beat up, and if it's anything like uh, 704 Tactical to put it through, um, I will be happy spending 30 bucks and this thing lasting for a long time. So we'll see what kind of beat down this takes as far as uh, being on my 7.62x39, and... Uh, We'll see how it performs. Right now I'm going to do a sight-in test. Uh, just a little bit more information on this red dot. It is uh, waterproof up to 30 minutes for 10 minutes. Battery life on this is 2,000 hours put at that mid-range, so around that 3 um, intensity range. It'll last for 2,000 hours. Alright, we're going to go with uh, three rounds to my uh, right target. And we're going we're gonna to make our adjustments from there. I'm going to focus on the center 
of our target. This little man. See how we do. Boy, that sucker's loud. Ah, this thing barks. I love it. All right, as far as elevation, it's looking pretty decent. Um, windage, it's off to the right just slightly. It leaves some mega holes. I love this thing. Anyway, so I adjusted left, and uh, so we're going to see how uh, this round goes. Here we go. Alright, love the smell of gunpowder in the morning. Alright, we're still shooting uh, to the right, so I moved it over some more. And we'll see where we're going on this one. I think it's hitting right in center, pretty close. Alright, so these are my last three shots. I uh, actually zeroed on one target and I decided I'm going to move over to the next target just to see where I'm at. And you can see my first three shots are right in that kill zone there. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, I would say that we're looking at about, you know, one inch, one inch there and then I'm uh, probably about 30 yards away uh, from, from the target. So impressed I'm gonna do some more shooting here and I might uh, see if I can go tag some steel with this the uh, 762 by 39 is uh, awesome to shoot it's a lot of fun a lot of people have problems with uh, magazine uh, failure to feeds failure to feed issues um, I actually let my uh, mags sit for three four days with about uh, 20 rounds I filled them up just to uh, weaken those springs a little bit because they can get pretty tight from the manufacturer and uh, which causes those failures to feed. Uh, gas system is also can be difficult to figure out with a lot of these uh, 762 by 39s but so far I've had a good uh, good luck with uh, my spring combination um, <coughs> gas block <coughs> excuse me again sucky allergies in Minnesota a lot of cottonwood floating around and so it's not a lot of fun sometimes to deal with that. Anyway, so let's do some uh, more shooting right now. Mostly to the head, a couple to the body. So I played a little game of uh, hostage. So the red guy is the hostage, and the guy on the right hand side is the terrorist. And I decided to take one shot to see if I could put it where I wanted to put it. Nice and calm, squeeze the trigger, and uh, let's see if this, this uh, red green dot is, uh, is was worth it. So. $29.99. Here's the shot right there. I would say it's worth it. Here's the hostage. Here's the bad guy. I took him out. Pretty impressed with that. So, all right, so I'm going to continue to test the longevity of this red dot and uh, feel free to check in um, every couple of, every month, every couple of months just to see how the durability of this is. So, I welcome questions. If you're not a subscriber, uh, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate the guys who uh, ask the questions, and uh, it's no problem for me. Sometimes I don't see see them posted right away, so have a little patience, but uh, eventually I will get to them. So thank you guys, and uh, let's go let's go hit some steel with this thing. See how we do.
Well, I wish I had more of those because this thing's a lot of fun to shoot. But that's it for today. Uh, I'm impressed so far with the OTW Red Dot. Of course, I'm not going to beat on a hood or anything, but uh, I'll take uh, 704 Tactical's word for it that uh, the durability is there. All right. You guys have a good one. Thanks for joining me.